All right, soccer is considered the most popular sport in the world, bringing people together from all different backgrounds. And a week from tomorrow, a brand new youth soccer field opens in the Claremont section of the Bronx. It features FIFA quality turf, bleachers for fans, a scoreboard, and a media lab made from a shipping container. But it didn't always look like this. Joining me now is Lawrence Kahn, CEO and founder of Street Soccer USA, a nonprofit dedicated to empowering communities through soccer. TJ and Abdul, two former players turned coaches. Thank you all so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you. All right, let's talk about this transformation of this of this area that used to be overrun with garbage. Yeah, I mean, we um, had nowhere to play. We started this program uh, next to a school, and then they redid the facade of the school, wow. and in the process destroyed the soccer field. So these guys were the original players and they played in a dog run that had all kinds of what wow. you would expect there. And so now uh, a big dream has come to fruition. That is so wonderful. And all this came about after the passing of an important uh, person to the community. So Teddy Van Buren uh, was a dear friend of mine and many, just a guy that everyone gravitated towards. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, he passed away uh, way too young. And uh, he was the chairman of our board. And his vision was to support uh, Haroon and TJ and Dabri and their friends. And so now we're able to dedicate this brand new soccer stadium um, that we built uh, in Teddy Van Buren's honor. And that's happening next Saturday? Next Saturday, May 6th oh at 12. Goodness. That's going to be amazing. Abdul, what's it like working uh, with the young people, too? I mean, um, most of the time, because I've, I've been coached for with them, and I haven't given back to the community with the little kids. That's just, you know, just enjoying with them, having fun. You know? uh, that's yeah. wonderful. It has to be great to, to work with the young people. Um, TJ, tell me about your experience. You started playing when you were 13 years old? Um, yeah, so Harun actually introduced me to street soccer uh, at a young age. So we didn't really have, I just, I didn't, I didn't really have a place to play at the time. Mm. So I I came to Harun and I was like, Harun, um, there's a place you can play soccer. And then he introduced me to street soccer. That's wonderful. And Harun, what, what's the experience been for you? Uh, so uh, at a young age, I went to Africa and, and like I came back at the age of 12. And like for a whole year, I had like struggles finding a proper or even like any space to play soccer at all. And that's when I was introduced to like street soccer by uh, the janitor in my school, mm -hmm. my middle school. And you know, I missed, them. I missed the first, exact first uh, street soccer event. But then after that, I was always consistent. I was always there every day. But then, you know, every day is like, there's other people that are not consistent. So I, you know, I try my best. I went to school with W over here as, as well, and I went to Arabic school with TJ, and that's when I started like bringing people in from left and right, and then we became a competitive squad every day, you know, always together, playing soccer together, even though the field was not so good, but we enjoyed that time, most of it. I mean, the field looks like it's going to be amazing. Oh, it's definitely amazing. <laughs> These guys, it's so sad. So I met, Haroon was only up to my shoulder when I met him, and now all three of these guys are in college, and they're coming back and coaching. TJ has been an amazing coach, and now we're running a district-wide school league out of Community School 55, partying with the district, and these guys are leading the youngsters, so it's uh, too bad we didn't have the field when they were coming <laughs> through, but, uh, but now they're giving, paying it forward. How does it feel being role models? It feels great. Yeah? We yeah. have an opportunity to kick that. We will once need shoes, you know, we could relate that, you know, what we learned over the years. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. And what do you think, what do you think the kids really get out of, of uh, you know, having this program and then having this new field? Uh, I would say having this program not only helps them, like, in terms of the sport, I mean, of course, it's always going to be beneficial to them, like their health, the way they play the sport. But it also, like, uh, as we were once told, it also helped develop the char their character, mm -hmm. you know, become leaders uh, through the sport, be, you know, how to communicate with people outside, because in the outside world, it's not every day you're going to meet the same people. You're going to have to work with different people and all that sort. So, yeah. 
Congratulations. Thank you all so much for being here. Should, we really appreciate add it. One thing sure. that's pretty cool about the, so we're building next to the field is a, a shipping container classroom. Ah. And the Italian Professional League, these guys are big soccer fans, Serie A, is sponsoring the Media Lab. And they'll be doing digital marketing training and giving skills to the kids so they can tell their story. Oh. Um, so it's really great. That is terrific. Again, thank you for being here. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you. Now, the Teddy Van Buren Street Soccer Park and Learning Center dedication will be next Saturday, May 6th at noon at Community School 55. The address is 450 St. Paul's Place. We'll be right back.